Now, for those who are, perhaps they have the desire, but they're not motivated. They don't have the motivation, right? Like I, like, like, like I started by reminding, it's hard. Seeking knowledge is not easy. Not at all. There was a brother in Medina with us at the time. He was an A-plus student. I mean, on a roll. A-plus student. Right? He got to Medina, and he struggled. It's hard. It was hard. Allahu Alam, I don't think he made it out of the Shu'aba. And if he did, he made it to the Kuliyah, meaning out of the Arabic program. If he made it to the Kuliyah, he didn't get far. He ended up coming back. It was too difficult for him. And it shows you that there is a difference between secular studies and Islamic studies. Islamic studies is different. It's hard. So you have to have that in your mind so that you are able to approach it properly. Yeah? So you understand that it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that easy. So with that being the case, you want to set yourself up for success. And what's one of the ways you do that? One of the ways you do that is you surround yourself with people who are like-minded. Now, you hear people all the time in business, they say networking is so important. You put yourself around people who are, you know, striving to do what you're doing. If you're the smartest person in the room, you need to change rooms, and right? That's what they tell you about dunya. Likewise, if you want to benefit, you put yourself around people who are what, more religious than you are, so that you can strive to keep up with them. That's gonna make you better. You put yourself around people who are striving to learn and they are more diligent than you are. Why? So that you are able to benefit from their habits and to pick up and, and learn from them as well. And learn from them. Now, and you're going to be able to share this because they're going to be people who will enter into your network of, of, of people who are trying to learn. And they're going to be at a lower level than you are. So now you can help them while the others are helping you. But the point is, is that you're able to um, encourage one another. It's like if you're going to work out, if you're just going to do some push-ups and squat thrusts and sit-ups and that's it by yourself, you might do that for a few days and then you're going to stop and then you might do it a few more days then you're going to stop. But if you have a group of brothers, now, then they're going to help you. You understand? Brothers who they jog and they run and things like that. You get out there with them, you're going to be jogging and running too. So you have to put yourself around brothers who are trying to do what you're trying to do. Put your sisters, put themselves around. Sisters trying to do what they're trying to do. So come to the classes, see who's here, take their numbers, become their friend, right? Have study groups and things like that. And this is how you help one another. A lot, a lot of what um, I benefited from was from other students. Was after class, right? Was after class study sessions that we had amongst each other, things like that. Tips that they you know, things that they did and things that they were, you know, help them, they share them with you and then they help you as well. So you have to put yourself around other students, inshallah ta'ala. And this is good upon good because you're going to develop and strengthen your brotherhood, right? You're going to be placing yourself around good people because people who are about positive things, they don't have time for negativity. They don't have time for things that are going to get them in trouble. And these are the kind of people you want to be around. People's going to remind you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remind you when you forget. So you have to put yourself around others. And if you don't have them in real life, IRL, right, as they say, then what do you do? You get with them online, right? We have Facebook groups. Yeah, subhanAllah. Like every so often I have a brother text me from WhatsApp, Assalamu alaikum. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. I'm in a WhatsApp movement you and this and like that. And alhamdulillah, now it's a new brother to speak to. Students of knowledge from Medina and other places don't even live anywhere near in the same continent. And you have connection with them. So utilize that as well. Make a WhatsApp group of the local brothers who are studying and then, you know, go over uh, your homework. Send, send each other voice notes of you reading the lesson. Things like that. This way is no excuse. You can't say, oh, our schedule's you have to be on the same schedule. Make a voice memo of you reading the page. And get the feedback. Right? Like this, inshallah.